Well, here's a story for you. Senior year of high school, I auditioned for the talent show with a friend. The song we sang, the mm -hmm. winner takes it all from Mamma Mia. Yeah, so did you, you get accepted? Did they, get, did they let you in the show? No. Okay, that's what I thought. I, I, I heard you show. sing before the break. That's just one of the great songs by ABBA that's featured in the fun upbeat musical Mamma Mia. Well, our next guests, I'm sure they would have made their high school talent show. They're two <laughs> of the stars of Mamma Mia showing at the Omaha Community Playhouse. Welcome John Jones and Victoria Luther. Good to see How you guys. You? you did make yeah. the high school talent shows, didn't you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Usually. Yeah. <laughs> usually. He's like, oh, well, usually. <laughs> of course I did. Of course I did. So you're in the new, the new production. It just started. Tell us about Mamma Mia. So basically the story is there's a 20-year-old girl named Sophie who just got engaged to her fiancé, Skye, uh, and she finds a diary that her mom kept from the year she got pregnant with her, and she finds three names in it of three guys that could potentially be her father because mm. she doesn't know who her father is. So she sends them letters under the guise of her mother, and then they show up. And chaos just kind of ensues from show there. Up, yeah, at no, once. There. Um, <laughs> and your characters. Who, so who do you guys play? I play Sophie. Um, she is the da daughter of Donna, who runs mm -hmm. this like Grecian hotel mm -hmm. on an island, uh, and she's the one who sends out the invitations to these guys that she doesn't know and tries to figure it out. That's right. Yeah. And I play Sky, which is um, the fiance of Sophie, and kind of her rock. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah. Yeah. Well. You guys, uh, you obviously know the music now. Were you familiar with the songs of ABBA before this? ABBA, ABBA? We were I, talking about this. Yeah. I mean, everyone says it different, ABBA, ABBA. I've always said ABBA. ABBA. I say ABBA. Bolt. Yeah. You say ABBA? ABBA. Bolt. Mm -hmm. But Kayla says ABBA. I think it's yeah. ABBA. Yeah, my dad definitely had us listen to the oldies, and mm -hmm. so I've heard their music, but I really didn't know about Mamma Mia until I saw it when I was 16, mm -hmm. when I went to New York City for the first time and saw it. Oh, so saw you did it. see the, the Broadway production? I did, oh, yeah. Lucky duck. One of my very first shows I saw, and um, I just remember the fun that the audience had, and at the end, everybody's standing in the aisles and dancing, and so it's a really fun show. Well, that leads me to my next question. What makes this musical so fun? <laughs> I think we've added our own little hints of things mm -hmm. that nobody will see in other productions. And I think we also have a lot of heart and soul to ours. Not that you're not going to have fun at a crazy Grecian dance party, because right. you definitely will. <laughs> I mean, we have all of it. But uh, I think we, we have a real depth to it yeah. that I think productions a lot of times ignore. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it gives the audience something to connect Singing to. Singing and dancing, of yeah. course, as well. So it's upbeat, energetic. Can we get to your backgrounds a little bit? Um, how, you got, uh, how you got your start in, in performance and theater mm -hmm. and all yeah. that type of stuff? I started, I, I was living in Iowa, and I, I uh, started at the Chanticleer Theater in Council Bluffs. Mm -hmm. um, I was in... Cinderella. That was my first little mm -hmm. show, and right. then ever since then, I've just been doing as much as I can. It's a big passion of mine. Were you Prince Charming? Theater. No, <laughs> my first time. I just had a little scroll, and I was the Herald, and I had one little. I song. did that at my community playhouse as the page. Yeah. The prince is having a ball. That's it. Yeah. Anyway, I was gonna say you had the hair to be the prince. <laughs> now I do. Beautiful Back hair. then, not Beautiful so much. Hair. Yeah. And how about you? I uh, I grew up in Grand Island, Nebraska, and I did just community high school theater there and then I moved here uh, and I got my bachelor's in theater performance at directing and directing at UNO and then I just kind of kept going from there I, I decided not to pursue it as a career because mm -hmm. it's kind of difficult it's to do one, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and, I, and I, I like being close to my family and home so I kind of just do it as a hobby now and I still I love it to death and that's why I keep doing it. No. What are your favorite songs in this performance? Uh, hey, Where you we think of I, I know. so much alike. We're just <laughs> what are your favorite songs? Which ones do you like? Uh, I love Take a Chance on Me, and it's near the end, and it kind of comes out of nowhere, but it's so funny. And, the, and Emily, who is our uh, person that performs that with mm -hmm. Mike, they're hilarious. Yeah. So it's one of my favorites. My favorite is The Winner Takes It All. Oh. Mm. Sarah, Sarah Ebke, who plays Donna, just... It's, it's so pretty. It's, she, it's so powerful when she does that. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's not a night that people mm -hmm. aren't just screaming when she gets done with it. And people, it's an underrated song. I it mean, people really don't usually is. say that, that that's their favorite song or mm -hmm. really know it, so it's absolutely mm -hmm. fantastic. And what do you like about performing with the Omaha Community Playhouse? I love it. I absolutely love it. And Jeff, the director, I love working with him, so I'll do anything with that man, mm -hmm. but um, the Playhouse yeah. is amazing. They yeah. take good care of their actors. Right. And three shows so far. You guys have had three performances. Mm -hmm. So what has been the feedback from the fans, the, from the people watching? They love it. I don't think we've had one complaint since we started. <laughs> people, you know, we have some big silly costumes at the mm -hmm. end. I'm not going to give too much away, but yeah. uh, 
they we, we have a little line that we stand out after the show and I mean the feedback is just I loved it and then you know the older crowds are like you guys did ABBA so well and you right. did justice. So it's just, it's been phenomenal feedback. Now, I forgot to get my tickets, I'm not going to lie. Are tickets still available? They are, but they're going fast. Are they going yeah. fast? Okay. We were sold out all of opening weekend. Were so. you? How um, many more performances do you have left? How, when is our run through? Quite a few. Yeah, <laughs> October 15th is our fi yeah. uh, we go till okay. then, so we have quite a few okay. Okay. to go. Well, you have a ticket offer, right, for the first Wednesday performance, which would be obviously this Wednesday. Ten dollar tickets this mm -hmm. Wednesday. Ten bucks for That's the Wednesday performance. Great yeah. deal. But I think these are going to go pretty quickly. You got to purchase them in person only at mm -hmm. the Community Playhouse box office, uh, and you have to do it uh, at four o'clock or later, right? Because mm -hmm. you can't do that prior to that, mm -hmm. and it's got to be the day of the show. Mm -hmm. First come, That's first right. serve. That's mm -hmm. right. Get there early. All right. Well, more information four zero two five five three. 0800 or omahaplayhouse.com. Yeah, like you said, through October 15th. Looking forward to seeing this one. This Mama is a fun Mia. one. If you want yeah, me to ever sing favorite. with you guys, I'm ready. <laughs> absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Do it. <laughs> Love it. Just kidding. I'm totally kidding. Thanks a lot. Thank Good you. luck on the show Thank run. We appreciate it. Thanks, Thanks for coming in. Guests of the morning, Blend.